Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all of you. So how are you? Hopefully you are good uh, and everything is fine wherever you stay. So uh, now we heading to our second last topic for our courses which is camps and follower. I believe that all of you have been uh, uh, learned about uh, the analysis of the linkages in it based on uh, position analysis, velocity analysis and also acceleration analysis. But now uh, we, we move to a different topic uh, which is uh, one of the important uh, application that we could be discussed together uh, which is camps and follower which is this one is one of the example that uh, uh, that that has been widely used based on uh, the mechanism and linkages okay so what is camps and follower we will literally discuss detail in this topic so uh, by this week and uh, next weeks okay we just only have two weeks to cover this topic so hopefully we we, we have a time to cover all these things okay so let's have a look uh, our CLOs okay so this topic is basically cover for CLO number four which is to analyze types of camp create follower displacement diagrams using equation to construct camp follower displacement diagrams okay so uh, that one is a uh, topic sorry CLO number four amongst of five CLOs we have okay so let's start with uh, introduction for camps and follower so what is camps really what is camp and what is followers okay what is mean by camp and followers so basically a camp is a spe specially shaped piece of a metal or other material arranged to move a follower in a controlled fashion. Okay. Uh, whereas for a follower is a link or linkage train that is constrained to move in rotation, oscillation, or in translation. Okay. So basically, uh, came um, came 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 and follower is uh, will uh, work each other in order to what we call to 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 create some mechanism for a particular reason okay so the combination of camp and flower train is a generate degenerate form of pure four bar linkage okay this is we call four bar linkage oscillation oscillation or four bar slider crank translation so means means that uh, we have a two types of output basically in order to uh, to uh, to 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 complete any uh, uh, function okay so we have a oscillation and also translation solution means that we have some rotation so it means that the, the flow is uh, uh, integrated with a cam or connected with a cam and then the flow is will be rotated for some period of time and also the flow uh, ha have a tendency to be a translation motion okay translation motion so how to get the motion linearly so means that we need some kind of uh, devices in order to transform the mechanism of cam and then which is uh, can uh, have a, a, a translation motion for followers Okay, so what is the best question? What are camps good for? Okay, what is camp good for? So I think the best reason I could found a quote from uh, where is it from a back in 1952. So what it said about camps is that a camps can be rightfully considered as a universally useful mechanism. So they have a decided advantages over all other mechanism where a stroke starts at dwell and ends at a dwell especially for intermittent intermittent motion okay intermittent motion 
So I think you have been exposed uh, with uh, dwelling cages, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, which is uh, uh, how to design a dwelling cage. And it was a really complicated process to do that, basically. So which are containing six links in it. So uh, if, we, if we look at from the figure over here, so you, you can find how many links we have. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So basically, in order to simplify this kind of mechanism, we can actually use a cam uh, design. Okay, we can we can uh, replace it with a cams mechanism in order to have a same function as what we have if you use a doing uh, dual linkages. Okay, this so it was a really complicated process to do that basically, which is uh, containing six links. As I mentioned before, but by using cam and followers, it is exactly that can what well, we can we uh, uh, simplify this problem. We can actually simplify this problem approximately what we have due to dual linkages. Okay, so how to get a good uh, mechanism? by using a cam so basically we can have a good we need some analysis in order to, de to design the uh, the shape of cam actually so it is a really easy to get a dwell of the cam basically so thus it is a point that when you have a need for a motion there is a dwell either both ends okay so uh, that cam is uh, perfect for for a job Okay, and this is almost universe use that purpose. Okay, so if you look at uh, the figure again, you can see the motion of the uh, particle. What kind of particle over here? Uh, means that uh, we start with a zero degree. So this one is one loop, which is one revolution uh, starting from a zero degree until 360 degree. Okay. So next, so so what are camps used for actually? What cam are used for actually? So basically, we have a uh, some kind of a. Uh, uh, application that we could probably use using uh, uh, this cam okay so if you look at from here first we have a valve actuation in IC engine okay so this is a very common uh, uh, application that we can find in a automotive, isn't it? In an automotive. Uh, so what actually we have is that uh, if you look at from the figure, so you can actually look at the uh, internal combustion engines, which is we use this kind of cam. So the main purpose if using this cam is to have a good timing for the what we call for the the uh, combustion occurs means that what happens to our fuel okay going inside and then uh, the mechanism of cam will have uh, their work their work to to open the valve okay so that they have a good timing for the fuel inside come inside for some combustion occur, combustion occurs okay and then uh, second one is we have motion control in machinery so of course this is a very commonly uh, application that we can uh, study or discuss together which is uh, the motion control in machinery so we we have uh, if you get from the uh, figure over here so this is one of the example of the motion sorry motion control machinery which is 
we use uh, mainly we use uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, cam so that uh, we have uh, some particular purpose and then can solve any problem okay and next we also have a uh, we use cam for first generation we, we we also need a cam to precise positioning and also event timing so look at from the figure over here so this is some kind of a example a very simple example so uh, the design of the shape of cam is basically will determine uh, the motion of the followers okay so that the flowers is must depends on the types of shape for uh, cam so if you have a uh, some pair of cam over here so look at you can see uh, how the timing of the followers is moving okay it is based on the uh, shape of the cam okay so this is one example of a valve trains okay if you can see over here as uh, the cam is rotated uh, clockwise so the followers this is we call it followers is will be uh, moving up so what happened is that uh, the we can actually open the valve seat okay then if we look at the uh, what we call the characteristic uh, graph of the cam so we can see that uh, the graph of the cam will be uh, what we call this parabolic isn't it parabolic so and then we also have this kind of thing buff string as I mentioned before okay so you can you can see how good the uh, cam is working in order to ensure that our valve is uh, moving with a certain period of time okay so that it can complete all together to do some uh, mechanism of combustion engine okay All right, so next is uh, we have a camp flowers system are degenerate for bar linkages, okay? For bar linkages. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, So if you look at the uh, figure over here, so basically uh, we have uh, some uh, give me a minute I have something to do Okay, so uh, let's we continue with uh, this uh, uh, figure. So, so outside the pieces of a uh, of a really four bar linkages, we can look at here. Okay, uh, from a four bar linkages, we have uh, how many links? We have of course we have four links. Isn't it? Link number four is from uh, point number two until number four, and link two is will be link two will be this thing. Okay, and then link number four from here, and how about link number three? So we have any crazy curve we might put on this cam. Okay, so thus mathematical properties of curves we call as a radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is means that uh, the center, center of radius over here, based on cam and follower. Okay, so I find the center, center of uh, curvature both of these two. Uh, shape okay based on these two shapes first shape is over here and second shape is here okay and then and then uh, we got a line from the center to uh, center from center for one uh, first curve of curvature this point and another center is this point so means that 
if we look at the line from center to center, we can consider this one is effective link number three. Okay, effective link number three. So, so thus, uh, so this is we can consider as about kinematic cons consequences. Okay, so we missing link number three is quite significant. So, if what happen if we have this uh, shape, sorry, this cam is moving uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, so of course we will missing uh, link number three, isn't it? We are missing link number three as the cam is moving around. Okay? So there is, there is a sense as a factor link because it's line between the center of curvature of the cam and followers. So, but as the cam turns, so as mentioned before, what happens if cam turns, the center move right. So that's of course, of course, the center of the curvature will be moved. So we had a variable link three. If we have a four bar linkages with uh, a real link three, and there is a link three is able to change that length as it moves. Okay. So this is much more flexible kind of a, a mechanism because I can get a, a most uh, any motion follow follow they wants okay follow the one okay is that clear so this is type of cam so what we have we have a radial or plate we also have a zeal cylindrical or barrel we also have a track cams you also have open rib stationary segmented conjugate and three dimension or we call as chemoid okay so this is uh, the uh, types of camps uh, with uh, real pictures so we have a, a stationary segment like this we also have a radial or plate we, what, what else okay okay can you uh, identify uh, the based on this figure, what types of cam we had? Okay, what happened? What what is a type of cam for the first uh, figure? So this is we call as what we call as we call as a radial, isn't it? Radial cam. Okay, number two. What is this? This is we call as a uh, what is this? Uh, Cylindrical, isn't it? Cylindrical. Yes. Cylindrical or we call as a barrel. Okay. So this one is... Okay. This one also we call as cylindrical or barrel. Okay. What is this? This is we consider as a... What is that? We consider as a... Chemoid. Chemoid. Yes. Chemoid. Okay. Chemoid. Chemoid. Chemoid cam. Okay, so next is we have a types of followers. Okay, we already discussed about type of camps, what camp are used for. Okay, we have uh, several examples of the camp shape design. Okay, so now we'll discuss what of types of followers we have. Okay, so first is we have a roller followers. We also have a mushroom followers. And we also have flat face followers. Okay, what are different? All these things, all these three. Look at the first one, roller followers. Okay, followers means that as the cam is turned, okay, clockwise or counterclockwise, then the flow will be uh, move. Will be move linearly. Okay, all this theory will be moved linearly, but the difference of the followers uh, is the look at here. Look at here. The uh, the design of flowers like this. We have a roller which is a uh, contact to the cam. We have a types of mushroom like this. 
Okay, and also we have a flat face followers. So of course, different types of followers will give a different, uh, different mechanism or different uh, result of the displacement of the velocity acceleration or even jet motion. Okay. So this is a sample of roller followers. Okay, roller followers. What we have. So we have a most have roller bearings two types change and full complement. We also have a larger diameters can have ball bearings. Okay, so uh, then we have a plane bearing versions are also available. Available with studs or holes for straddle mounting. So, uh, so this is a, a the figure or the example of the roller followers is basically need uh, in order to uh, to do or to to have a good uh, mechanism. Okay, so. What is this? This is we have a force close uh, follower joints. So what what does it mean here? Force close follower joints. Okay. So force close follower joint and force close cam follower joints. Okay. So if look at uh, this one, force close follower joints. Translating, so what does it mean? Translating means that we will uh, have uh, uh, the uh, motion of the followers linearly. So it means that we, 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 we put together the followers uh, in the middle of here, okay, and then we'll have um, a straight line motion or linear motion, okay, back uh, moving to the right. To the left, to the right, to the left. Okay, but compared with a uh, different motion of this design, sorry, this type of followers. So what happened is that this one will be rotated. Okay, these followers will be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise. So it means that this one is directly put uh, attached together. Okay, with a with a with a body, and then. Uh, these followers will attach or will uh, contact to our cam design in order to have a, the the function, okay, the, or in order to have a mechanical work of the followers, okay. Then we also have force force close cam follower joints, okay. Force close follower joints based on the look at here, look at over here. So what means that is terms conjugate, sorry, what uh, the degree, look at, uh, sorry, okay, this one, this is conjugate cam. So, if you look at this one, uh, the roller, okay, or we call a strike or groove, this is the track groove, so it means that as the uh, cam is rotated clockwise or counterclockwise, so what happened to our followers, this one will move, in line or just follow the track or groove that we have inside the cam okay means that we have no uh, what we call uh, the the motion is very fixed okay, the motion is very fixed follow the track or growth created inside the cam okay same as what we have if we have a uh, oscillation motion or rotation so we will design our cam or we will design our track or growth okay based on uh, the track okay and then the followers will be rotated according to the uh, track or growth that has been designed inside the camp okay so we can consider uh, can we, we can look at we can see how good or how how it works when uh, the camp is will be designed like this so it, it is basically uh, uh, we need to 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 have a some kind of a 
study or analysis in designing how good of how 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 we can design uh, our camp okay so it is based on uh, the shape of the camp so we need to do some analysis in terms of displacement also we, we need to do some analysis in terms of velocity what happened out to our acceleration and last but not least what happened to our jet motion okay so what is jet? Jet is basically the derivative of uh, acceleration. So uh, we will uh, we will uh, further discuss later about this. Okay. So next is what is conjugate camps? Okay. What means by that is term of conjugate in math 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 sorry mathematical terms. Okay. So if we look at the uh, figure over here. The grey camp and the pink camp, the pink or not, not the pink one, this one we consider as a orange, isn't it? the orange camp pushes the followers out. Okay, this is our followers. So the grey, sorry, the, the, the orange one brings, brings back in the same week. Okay, and followers in this case is a rigid body as you can see. We have, uh, as you can see here, okay, as a skinny black line, you can you can hear. If we have a skinny black line for the followers, so these two rollers is a fixed position. These two rollers is a fixed position with respect to another. Okay. So you can see uh, when the cam is rotated, either clockwise or counterclockwise, what happened to our Followers, what happened to our rollers? Okay, uh, how we can consider our timing? Okay, so all these things uh, need to be considered in order to to have a good design, so that we we can have a, a good uh, a mechanism work that we want. Okay, all right, so. So basically, we have type of camp motion programs. Basically, so this one is uh, uh, we have several types of camp motion. First is we have no dual arise fall. Okay, before that, uh, we can uh, we, uh, we we need to know what dual is mean. Okay, what the meaning of dual? So the dual is a period of time in which a system or component remains in a given state. Okay, so we we need to uh, understand first about the dual mechanism, which is a dual mechanism can be defined as what uh, uh, a zero output motion, all right, for some non-zero non-zero input motion. Okay, so we're talking about uh, the cam motion now. Okay, so we can uh, break into several category. As shown here, so no dual or rise fall, how we call as RF. Okay, it is a rise fall motion. It is a rise fall motion. So basically, this is much cheaper. Okay, much cheaper what we have uh, available in the uh, market. Okay, so no dual or rise fall. So means that the motion is just only rise fall, rise fall, rise fall. No dual motion. Okay. Second one is we have a single dual or rise fall dual or we call as RFD. So this is uh, the what we call automotive cam. So this is a single dual. So the purpose or the main purpose it is open and close dual and hold it close during dual period while you blow up a gasoline to the other staff right okay to the staff and right to the path and you open all the what we call the exhaust uh, for hold your burn the gas and you open the intake valve to get new staff in and you close both while you compress the change and blow up so that is uh, how it works if we uh, we have for RFD type of cam motion okay so you don't need to stop dwell uh, 
of the stroke and you simply have to get an open long enough and wide enough to get the gas in and out okay so basically this is much easier so in a, a dynamically okay to have a one motion rise fall rise fall so on the height well so that require different kind of mathematical function than the next case so the next case is we call as a double dual or we call as rf f r d f d so compared with a, a single dual a double dual is a typically industrial machine program okay taking place come back here pick up and piece of product moving a dump pad come back pick up moving down okay and then what next is uh we repeat all this process or uh all the one okay so usually uh, we stop it both and to do something to the end okay so that require different set of function uh, which is will be investigate as well okay and last one we also have we call as multi rise multi dual multi fold so uh, this is a very more complicated as compared to the previous one. So what we'll do to unjust full in defining this, this situation over here. So we can map up uh, all this term up. Okay. First we have a critical extreme position. Or we call as CEP and second one is because we call as critical path motion we call as CPM so what is a critical extreme position so basically we can consider as end point of motion are critical so we are not only care about the end position of the motion so and now we get it from here is really uh, what we call a break concern to, to, to us okay so means some concern uh, dynamically we want to keep at uh, the, the uh, what we call the uh, want to keep the, the bike well while they have no have a break but the actual path is not critical okay so the, 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 the actual path is not very critical as compared to uh, the other one okay so So while that the case it is, so maybe some constraint on the way of uh, we need to reach a certain speed, okay? So we have uh, to go through uh, a certain point on a certain time or something another. So a second one is more challenging from the design standpoint because we have more constraint on this problem. Okay, so and this is a critical on the end point so we added more requirement to the second category of cpm so uh, for a second category of uh, motion cam or, or call as cpm so what is C cpm uh, so the second category we consider as the path between endpoint is a very critical okay and then displacement velocity and etc and maybe specifies endpoints will also critical so look at over here a cam timing diagram this is one of the uh, example of the di diagram that we have for the cam so uh, a cam design problem typically start with something we call as a timing diagram as shown here lah. okay as shown here so whoever come up with uh, the idea for the smooth machine have decided that we need a uh, different motion up and down of machine and this motion has to head okay before that one so far and so on and so far the timing between all this motion okay so and the total motion cycle is always i'm gonna 360 degrees so means that we see we have a one complete cycle or if we we, we can consider in the timing in in in, in, in the terms of time so we we can uh, break into uh, several times 
okay which is for example we have a zero we have a 90 degree will represent for 0 0.25 second 180 represent for 0 0.5 second 270 represent for 0 0.75 second and also we have 360 represent to one second so that is our time okay so As the total motion cycle is always going to 360 degree, which is uh, one revolution for the whole machine. So the X as is, as I mentioned before, can angle theta and of course, we put together in the time. Okay, so we know how fast the shaft is turning. Okay, we know how fast shaft is turning. So we turn. Uh, the word degree and leave time out of it until the end and that makes equation simpler okay so what I show here is all the simplest example what we what we have is a dwell 90 degree followed by rise 90 degree okay and then followed by dwell I dwell or sum of the position for 90 degree and fall until repeat in one cycle okay so typically you as a designer okay of course we need to design a good cam isn't it so you as a designer you need to handle all these things how to design a good way okay for example if we want a dwell for 90 degree okay and uh, we want to get up and show whatever hurry it is and we want to fall in 90 degree and stay down for 90 degree for example so something like that so uh, it is up to you it's up to you okay, it's up to you in how how you can design to figure out what to do on the rise and fall okay so that's a why that's why design is comes in okay so a good design uh, cam will determine how good performance of the system Okay, so we have SVAJ diagram. What is meant by SVAJ? SVAJ S represent for displacement, V represent for velocity, A represent for acceleration, and J represent of jerk. Okay, jerk. So we differentiate displacement we get velocity we differentiate velocity then we will get acceleration and we differentiate again our acceleration will get our jet motion so means that the jet motion the unit of jet motion must be meters meter cube per second meter cube per second okay so this curve created based on some rule that we'll discuss detail in next couple of lecture okay Alright, so what is jet? Okay, as mentioned before, we need to understand first the uh, parameters uh, or the motion we have. Okay, so the jet is basically rate of change of assertion versus time. Okay, versus time. So if we have F equals MA and M is constant, the rate of change of force is proportional to the jet. So it means that uh we differentiate our f so we will get uh the value of differentiation of a isn't it so it means that the rate of change of force is proportional to z so a large rate of change of force is called impact so it means that we have d df over dt so df over dt and then impact brings the system and cause vibration so force is proportional to acceleration, vibration is roughly proportional to jack. Okay, so this is our, our variable that we have. We have a time, we have theta is the cam angle. We also have a beta is the angle over which the event occurs, uh, either degree or radian. Okay, we have theta or we call of beta is the normalized cam angle, unitless. We have omega is the camshaft, camshaft angular velocity. We also have H is a total displacement or length units. We also have S followers displacement. We also have V followers velocity. A is acceleration. J is jerk, and P is follower ping. Okay, uh, we consider as length per second to the power of four. Okay. 
okay before we we need we come up with a proper design so we, we we can discuss a little bit on how not to design a camp okay so there is a certain certain thing that you need to know on how to not a design a camp okay we need to avoid it so first is we have a nave a poor camp design constant velocity is unacceptable so if you look at from here if we have lower dwell with a constant acceleration so of course if we differentiate we will have a constant velocity okay for rise part if we have a linear motion of acceleration of course if we differentiate we will have a constant velocity same thing what happened during during fall session so we differentiate this one we will get a different uh, we will get a constant velocity in a negative values so if we have a negative so if we have all this part is constant velocity so we will we'll present our uh, design of can very very poor so means that it is not good unacceptable because we when we have a constant velocity so what happened to our acceleration and jerk of course we get our infinity value okay so that uh, which means that this this one is not uh, a proper way if we have a value of acceleration or even jerk with infinity infinite okay infinite okay next we also have uh, we not you should avoid in constant acceleration okay why because if we have a constant acceleration if we differentiate again then we will get the value of jerk will be infinity so means that the jerk value must okay in in uh, in design a good way you need to cons uh, ensure that the value of jerk must have a value means that should be uh, infinite in, should be finite value should be finite value not infinite okay not infinity okay so this is uh, uh, another thing a simple harmonic motion so if we have uh, let's say we have this kind of thing okay we did we, did, we, did, we, we differentiate v s a j also we can this one is we consider is not not one of the uh, a poor design that we have okay so i think we stop here for our first uh, part of our topic so next class we will continue with our fundamental law of can design okay so hopefully you understand and you can get some ideas on how to design the cam okay so thank you very much for your time today then uh, see you on the next lecture thank you very much assalamualaikum